to a banquet, it's a really invigorating time of the year when everyone gets together and enjoys the fellowship with meals. We make a lot of key decisions about the upcoming year. And of course, we get great food, like this pie. Doesn't that look good? And this coleslaw. Doesn't that look good? I totally expected it to be full of the unexpected, and it exceeded my expectations. You know, I find out about all this stuff, and it's like there's a whole new world of scouting that I didn't really know about. I'm really looking forward to getting back and getting more active, being out in the wilderness, giving back to the Boundary Waters, and, you know, being able to form lasting relationships with people that I'd never met before. You know, it was a completely wonderful experience. It's definitely an awesome feeling to be fully dependent on the eight other people that you're with in basically the middle of nowhere. I mean, you really don't encounter very many other people, so it gives you a new sense of self-reliance and reliance on your crew. Here, you don't have to you don't have to worry about anything. I mean, for, I mean, you, you can go out and you, there's no pressure on you. you. You're on God's time and. To, to get away from the city and the hustle and bustle all the time, it's just so refreshing. And you don't get that anywhere else, and out in Philmont, you especially get it um, through this uh, trail crew program. I don't mind doing community service where you can't really see the effects, but I love to see like effects on people and what it's going to have. And this kind of work is like, after a couple of years, you know, I can come back sometime and be like, hey, I helped build this trail. It's just an experience that you don't all that you only get once in a lifetime. And there's so much to be gained from it. You know, it was, uh, it was an awesome experience. It's kind of hard to describe because, you know, this year uh, you, you get to meet tons of people. However, you never get to experience the, the brotherhood or the fellowship of this order uh, um, any better way than here. Summer, an event like no other the Order of the Air has ever undertaken. 
A unique event that we hope will inspire you to go back and share what you learned with airmen in your home lodges. The Indian Summer was designed to give you a set of tools. Tools to help you fine tune your lodge program, tools to help you better impart ceremony knowledge and ceremony message, and tools to help you use the Native American culture and program to provide a more rich and inspirational order of the year experience. Everything I ever wanted to do in my lodge, I was able to do. To this day, in lodges across the country, young scouts like the one that I once was are still able to experience parts of the culture that may have at one time seemed lost, seemed forgotten. It is very much alive in the spirits of Dr. Goodman and the Order of the Arrow. So with Summit Corps, basically it's going to be very similar to Arrow Corps 5. We'll be laying the foundation for the hiking and biking trail network, um, which will be right, right adjacent to the, the new Boy Scout camp. Be these rock wall inflatables and water slides and things like that, and we'll have a big pig roast at the end of the day to kind of you know, celebrate our hard work. I'm Bradley Cota, the 2010 National Chief, and I will see you at Summer Forest. <laughs>